our water resources have always been diminished. Our voices have always been muted. I'm a contemporary conceptual photographer, artist, and activist. There's not enough hand washing. So these facilities don't have places where they can go to, to wash their hands. We have residents who are living in multi-generational homes. So if somebody is contracted with the virus, they take the virus home and they infect their grandmother, their aunt, their brother and their sisters. Um, there's also a crisis of drugs and alcohol and homelessness. Um, one individual can infect 150 people in one night because they're out partying or, you know, on the streets. So what is your message to the broader society based on what you've seen and, and the work that you're making? I come from, so to speak, a white man society. I, I was born on the reservation. Um, I did not live or grow up, grew up on the reservation. I grew up in the Midwest. I want to be a pillar to build a bridge of communication between the traditional culture of the Navajo people. I want to open that dialogue between them so that they, they can understand that the, the white the white society, the white society is not a threat. That the ways have changed, that there is a leadership, that the scientific ways is not a threat. That there's there's the wise world and there's also the scientific world that they can meet in together. Why is this moment when on the face of it it looks as if um, the federal government has not been very attentive to the needs of the native population, why is this moment a, a time to build that bridge and that trust? This pandemic has kind of been an opening pavement for this dialogue to be open more and then we're starting to get recognized I wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation with you had it not been for this pandemic to open the doors for me to have this conversation so that somebody, my neighbor, somebody in the city, somebody down the road can have this opening and awareness that yes, we are a nation that is in need. Yes, we are a nation that have our forward thinking, our moving forward. What What is it that we need? What is it that we want to change? The pandemic has revealed many flaws in where we put our resources and what practices we learn from and cherish and which we disregard and ignore. Is there a relationship between that and how we tell the history of this country? I think that the it's uncovering a lot of what's been untold in America. Our government system is now being uncovered the way that we've been treated. We've been treated like cattle. And I want my people to understand that there is healing that we can do. I think that, you know, really change comes from working together. If we look at the change and look at the life going forward, this pandemic has really opened my eyes and wanting to connect with my elders and see where their lives are at. And knowingly that there is a tradition and culture that's dying in us, that's invisible. And that invisibility needs to be heard. <laughs>